Hi, my name is Alexandros Panagidis. My internship was uh, in a company called All Around Sports Agency, which it's a sports agency. Um, my position, I'm the CEO. Um, and the reason, one of the reasons I chose this, this internship is, um, this is something I love. It's something I love doing. I always dreamed of uh, um, playing basketball, but um, I've always interacted with um, young athletes. I've been in the uh, in the market for a lot of years, and I've seen what can you create by planning and having a good manager in your athletic career. All Around Sports Agency is an agency that specializes in sending European young talents in colleges or universities, prep schools, high schools in the United States with an athletic and academic scholarship, whatever we be able to achieve, and also manage pro athletes in getting a better or getting a contract from a pro team, mostly overseas. Um, programs I ran uh, through All Around Sports Agency was the latest this summer. Uh, we had our own basketball camp, which we had 42 young athletes that attempted the camp. It was just for basketball. And then we had one for soccer, which we had 19 people attending. Uh, we brought scouters from all around the world. Uh, mostly four countries, Serbia, Poland, the U.S., and U.K., to see our athletes and be able to earn a scholarship or a pro contract. Um, I had to set it up all myself, and it took many hours doing balance sheets, revenues, and everything. Um, also, another thing, I'm, um, I'm running the website on the Internet, which we just launched. Uh, which is pretty hard to stay with and always be able to upgrade it because our market is very specialized. We specialize in hitting young athletes that are able to afford uh, moving to a, another country by themselves. Another program I ran, I went to every private school and every public with sports team, high school in Cyprus and only two schools in Athens in Greece and I interacted with young athletes we had some successful um programs which they got to know me better they got to know the process they got to know the the cons and the negatives the positives of moving relocate leaving everything behind them sacrificing basically for what they love doing, which in this case is young athletes, sports, which uh, they want to follow in their, in the future. Um, goals and objective in my internship, of course, is to get as many athletes as we can, but if we get the right athletes with the right background, with the right stats, you know, we can get them 100% um, scholarship, a full ride in another country, which will definitely benefit a young athlete at that age to be able to go study for free and get the knowledge of the United States way. Um, as many athletes we have, of course, we're gonna get known better, but it, it is really, the best scholarship you get to an athlete, not just get him a scholarship. Also, we like to interact with our athletes after we place them as well. Many agencies, they just place athletes and that's it. We have a WhatsApp and a viral group with all our athletes. And we ask our athletes for daily, um, if they have any problems, they can text us daily. 
either me or my partner, or we have a group which they are required as a must to send me weekly how they doing. They can just say good, they can report something, and we're always there to help them. If they don't like the university we place them at, we do help them get a transfer, another good scholarship in another university. Also on the other side, for pro athletes, is really getting the best contract, having good no negotiations and good contacts, keeping good relationship with some with most of the coaches and having a professional way of doing things. Uh, the best, that's how you get a good contract and that's how you get paid good as a company by receiving a good contract for your athlete. My goals in my internship was to learn as, many, as much as I can, get in relationships as much as I can. I wanted to learn from it, see how the professional way of doing things are and pretty much get keep growing uh the chain uh, the chain of coaches the chain of trainers the chain of athlete directors everybody that can help in this process is more than welcomed uh, the bigger the connections are the most deals you're going to get if I, if an athlete comes back uh we can right now we can hand him we're one scholarship 100% we guarantee a scholarship, but if an athlete comes back and he, we can hand him nine, 10, 11, 12 contracts or scholarships to universities, which will make us look way better than just handing two to three. Um, my, my responsibility and my internship is to get in contact with the athlete, probably overseas. We go for a coffee, we sit down, I get, they fill out, uh, all around sports agency uh, register program, which I pretty much get all the basic information, plus the most important things that I need to receive is a resume, uh, extracurricular activities, of course, a highlight table of their own sport, and how much they want to get paid in case they are pro athletes, or how much can they afford paying a university. Uh, we take this, we're building an athletic portfolio. We send it out to three, more than 300 universities that are on our database. And in two to three weeks from, from what we've seen from our athletes right now, we start receiving the office in. We sit down with the athlete and the athlete's family if they want to. And we see where it's best for him to go. After that, we get into a Zoom call with the coaches and we just make a first introduction as an agency representing our player and the coach. Because most of the times a coach might not like that, how a player talks, how he thinks, and vice versa with the student, the student, the young athlete might not like the coach. In this case, the deal cannot be considered successful because they're going to be with each other, the coach and the young athlete for four years. As an all-around sports agency, we work with PFS at a sports agency, which is in Belgrade, Serbia. I had to attend. It was a great, great, great experience. Uh, it was fully paid by the agency, which we now work together. And I pretty much learned everything. I learned how to put everything into play and work with, cooperate with on other agencies. Another program we work together is um, all around sports agency works together is um, it's called LA Sports Agency. Uh, it's run by Janos Kukurabas, who is a professional agent for basketball, and he is he lives in Athens, in Greece, in Galifata. Uh, we will be working together for a year, placing my two pro athletes in Cyprus in different basketball teams. And this is where we really become professional. Uh, negotiations are hard. Keeping up with the players is hard. Different time zone is hard to get in contact with. Many times you have to stay up. You have to always be next to your players. They move from the United States mostly 
two different countries so the culture is different and you always need to be there next to them make to the, make them feel like they are part of something a family be able to talk to coaches how's my player doing are they doing well are they not are they progressing are they not you always need to be able to help your athlete in a different country also another company we work with is global bb which is run by a professional basketball player in greece that does exactly the same thing with us by working with his companies we build our chain more relationship more universities to send to and it was a great experience in greece for both agencies great experience it was building building up building up getting numbers up see that is is actually like from the people around you uh, you don't know in the beginning you don't even know if this is a good idea or not by watching it grow and be always right next to it doing everything be a part of everything i would say it's nice yes if it makes you feel like you're worth you're uh you're worth it and you're uh, you you much needed by the young athletes and putting yourself in the same shoes that they was one day that i was one day uh it's nice having somebody to right next to you see you taking step by step up in your young college athlete or pro athletes it's nice to see the growth that a player has one of the hardest um assessments or assignments i had it was a young athlete that didn't have nothing bad grades no highlight tape no nothing we had to build everything we even put a whole game together to help him get some highlights he couldn't afford going to the united states since his dad passed away a few years ago and only his mom had a job couldn't afford it so we had to go out sponsors and see if somebody is willing to help financially the athlete go to university even though he got 90 95% scholarship he still needed help from a sponsor we found this company from Greece that um, the owner has three kids with all disabilities and he loves sports he looked at me in my eyes and said, if my kids can do it because God wanted it, then I want all the other athletes to be able to be successful in their in the sports, in their areas they want to fight for, dream about. So he ended up sponsoring 5000 for the kid, for his tickets, his living expenses and everything. And he pays annually 5000 to all around sports agency to, to be able to cover the players' um, expenses. Also, another hard um, test that I have it was a pro athlete coming out from a D2. I got kicked out for smoking. Um, great stats, great kid, just a bad moment. I got cut up and was about to make his whole career just disappear just from one bad decision. Uh, we found this kid. Um, a job in Cyprus and as soon as we got the job the contract and the player signed he got in trouble uh, for crashing his car and he couldn't leave the country because it was his fault and he had to attend um, the court so we had to ask very kindly the staff the board of the team to be able to push it down and keep his contract then the team asked us for the athlete to get less money since he was late the athlete would accept it so we had to negotiate with the athlete and the team was going back and forth but we managed to hold it down another hard assignment that i had it was a kid that just joined uh, number six prep school in the united states uh, everything was good for the first two weeks uh, and then he just decided that he wanted to leave he didn't say nothing to nobody he just went to the dean he said i want to leave for this and this and this reason 
And then his parents found out he was calling us. They was calling us. The dean was calling us. Everybody wanted to make it work. I just, it just went down the wrong way. The athlete didn't feel comfortable, so we had to let him go. The dean had to let him go. It was a, it was a mess, but unfortunately for the athlete, he really spent four um four weeks in the school. Ended up getting not, no offers because he wasn't patient. He just wanted to go back to the country with his girlfriend, and his parents. Uh, and the reason he left, he said he wasn't comfortable putting laundry himself. But some of these athletes have to understand that they won't have their parents their whole lives. So they just have to go out in the real world and fight for what they love. His parents pay approximately 10000 with the school. Um, the school to annually tuition 69000 He got a scholarship. He paid ten with his tickets to go, his food, everything. Everything was covered with 10000 and he just gave up a great scholarship, uh, a dream, and the kid was actually pretty good. The internship benefited me in many ways. Um, one of them is negotiations. As I explained, it's way different negotiating for anything else than pro contracts and scholarships because people give their money and they wait in return. They expect in return for you to play well, act well, be appropriate. If an athlete messes up, we're still there for the athlete to maintain their needs, maintain their contracts, try and get them out of a difficult position, try and get them a better contract every year. Uh, also, another thing that benefited me, I started low. I started working as a, at a company and then I created my own company, um, which it put me in the network. Everybody knew who I was before I even opened up my own company. He gave me experience. He gave me the name. He gave me... I showed results that I did in my work, and everybody trusted me after that. Uh, meaningful experiences. It would definitely be, now, uh, as I mentioned before, my trip in Serbia for uh, Pro Future Sports, which um, is one of the biggest companies that find scholarship for young students in universities. They have offices in Poland, Brazil, Argentina, Russia, and Serbia. But also another great experience will be my trip in Greece for Global BB, um, which is run from one of the most famous basketball players uh, to play for Greece. Uh, they pay for everything and the only thing that they wanted me to do is go and help them out of basketball camp. A frustrating experience. Um, I, I, I have two. One of them is when I was working the first company, uh, my boss owed me four and a half thousand from the commission, which I never got none. And we st I'm still taking him to court so I can fight for that money. But also another bad experience that I had, it was when I got a kid, 100% scholarship in New York. Uh, as I mentioned before, he went over there. The way he grew up didn't fit his dreams. And he had to go back without informing anybody. He went to the director of the school and just blew the whole contract up. He was disrespectful as well, which put me in a very hard position, explaining myself to um, the head uh, of the school. Um, my concern is I'm a very honest person. Uh, whatever I think I, I say at all times, and this many times might come out bad, because I have a lot of clients which their kids are not worth 100% scholarship and they come to the table demanding 100% scholarship. And when you work in a business, we always say the client is correct and we're trying to help the client. But many times the client doesn't put the effort in to understand our part. They feel like getting a scholarship for a university is easy and it's very direct 
which is not the case because coaches don't want to waste their budget on anybody that is not worth what they're looking for. And there's a lot of times when you explain to the parents what do they expect, um, and they get mad, they leave the table, they go behind your back and um, say bad things about you that you don't do your work well, which is not the case. We just try to be honest, direct, and always be professional in everything we do. Uh, my internship, um, it gave me a very solid path for the future. Uh, creating my uh, own company, uh, doing what I love, and helping the young talent uh, build upon their college or pro dreams uh, in their own area, in their own sport, with different plans, different academics, uh, academic advising, different budget, um, and taking day by day, case by case, uh, try to find new talented athletes that's going to come out and sh um, shock the world with their talent, which um, in all our own sports agency, we truly believe that the young talent is out there. And we are on the hunt to find every single kid that has a dream to play and try to fit him in the right, I would say, destination or school. Um, when I was a kid, I wish I had somebody tell me, hey, Alex, you need to sit down, do this, this, and this, put a plan in front of me for the future. Um, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the youth from young age um, that, um, we prefer high school and just prepare them for the future. Uh, create the right path for every single kid because every kid is different. The ability is different, the talent is different and just right, find the right destination for them. Uh, coaching wise, academically wise, budget wise, environment wise, state wise. We have to make sure our athletes are 100% happy and motivated because they come from a, f a very far away from a different country different culture and a kid to be able to perform at that at this age he needs to be 100 uh, percent um, in his motivational stage but also be very confident in himself if a player doesn't like the coach he won't he won't be efficient a coach won't like him we won't get a better contract, a better scholarship, and the downfall the downfall part starts from there. So we have to make sure um, that the kid is happy with his options. Um, I would definitely recommend um, this internship for anybody because if you truly love the sport, you truly love watching new athletes build upon themselves, their futures, uh, create new paths, open new doors, uh, get them in the weight room, get them on the court, uh, be always uh, on top of the academics because academics is our big part. And you see what the diversity of schools, you see what schools are quick to respond uh, what schools are not professional, uh, how hard it is in other academic schools, the level of international students that they have. I would definitely recommend it because you can help the young talents build something. You can be somebody that um, has a name in the world and he's famous for his work ethic towards the kids and the pro athletes. You can give back to the sport you always loved. My philosophy of sports management uh, is very simple and direct. Uh, sports management, definition of sports management to me, my philosophy is that um, 
is anything that is involved to sports. For example, planning, organizing, directing, controlling, budgeting, leading, evaluating a team, everything that has to do with sports. To me, is has to do with sports management, personal training, coaching, just be around the sport.